Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and this is the new Surface Laptop 13.8 inch edition. There's also a 15 inch and they start at $999 and go up to $2,399. The price depends on CPU and display size, and then you have a couple processor options as well. This is the 13 inch, like I mentioned, you can see it here. It has 16 gigs of Ram and one terabyte SSD, and it comes in the color Sapphire. We now have a Sapphire Dune Platinum or black color, and let's go ahead and open it up. So we'll pull this little pull tab here. There we are. And let's see if we can remove the top or open it up. So it opens just like that. And let's see what we've got here. So this is the laptop itself. We'll set that aside and let's see what comes in the box. So underneath here, looks like we've got some paperwork right here. Open it up and just got, looks like a warranty card. And then we also have, looks like a quick start guide that goes over some of the ports and other things we'll talk about in just a moment. Of course, we have the AC adapter with our little surface connector here and then we have our AC to wall adapter and that's it. So very typical of what we get with most surface devices. Let's go ahead and take a look. Actually, let's open this and see how much power it is. And then we'll take a look at the actual laptop itself. And you'll see this is a 39 watt adapter. So that's what's included with it. So here's the laptop. Let's go ahead and pull this pull tab here. Flip it over. And this is a really nice anodized aluminum color. So again, this is the sapphire color and it looks pretty great. As far as what it has here, we've got, of course, a few different ports. So we have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, USB-A. We also have USB-C. This time we have two of them. And on the other side, we have what looks to be our surface connector. So no SD slot, but again, it's got this sort of wedge shape to it. it looks pretty nice. And just spin it around here so it looks pretty nice overall and that gives you an idea of what it looks like let's go ahead and open it up and this processor the snapdragon x elite it's a 12 core with 16 gigs of ram so it turns on immediately once you open it and this gives you an idea of what you have as far as the keyboard it's got a nice contrasting look definitely very striking no alcantara here and then of course our large trackpad so we'll give it a moment to boot up and like i said this has a one terabyte SSD that apparently in the surface you can replace this one. It doesn't look as accessible, but should possibly be able to be swapped out if you opened up the bottom and it has Wi-Fi. 5G options are coming a little bit later. Now, Microsoft says they use 67.2% recycled content, including 100% recycled aluminum in this. So that's pretty nice. And it comes in at 2.96 pounds or 1.34 kilograms. So really nice there. And then of course, these are USB 4 and you can use Thunderbolt as well, depending on what you have. It can support up to three 4K displays this time around, including this display being open. So four, if you include this display. So there it's booting up. Of course, we have omnisonic speakers with Dolby Atmos, dual studio mics with voice focus, and we have this really nice new display that's a little bit larger. Now we'll set this up in a moment, but this is a 13.8 inch pixel sense flow display. It's got a resolution of 2,304 by 1,536 at 201 pixels per inch. It's got 120 Hertz refresh rate, Dolby Vision IQ and Gorilla Glass 5. It also has an upgraded forward facing camera or full HD front facing surface studio camera that can record 1080p. So let's go ahead and get this set up. So we'll set it up like this. We'll click yes. Then we'll move on. And these are the new Copilot plus PCs. So we'll have to see what that has, but we have a new key here for it. It says, is this the right country? Yes, it is United States for me. We'll click yes. And then the keyboard method, we'll click yes. And do you want to add a second keyboard layout? I'll skip that for now. And then it says, let's connect your network. So I'll go ahead and connect here. Now I'm connected to Wi-Fi. We'll go ahead and click next. Give it just a moment here. Turn down the display brightness just a little bit. There we go. Then we have to accept the license agreement. So we'll go ahead and hit accept. Then we can name the device. I named it Surface Laptop, click next. Then we'll just give it a moment here. Now it's checking for updates now that it's connected. Again, we'll give it a few moments here. And it says we're getting you the latest features. We'll go ahead and click next. 
It says the co-pilot key instantly access your everyday AI companion. Co-creator lets you imagine, lets your imagination paint the picture. We have craft striking visuals. Express yourself with Windows Studio effects, translate and caption audio and video in real time, and quickly find things you've seen on your PC, which is coming soon with Copilot. So we're waiting for everything to download and install. We'll give it a few minutes to complete that. Now that everything's updated and it's rebooted, it now says unlock your Microsoft experience, sign in. So we'll go ahead and click on sign in. I'll add my Microsoft account. Now it wants me to set up my face identity to sign in securely. I'll go ahead and do that. And it says, keep looking directly at the camera. So let me tilt this here. There we are. It says, that's it, you're all set. So we'll tilt it back and click next. Now it says, set up a pin. We'll create a pin. Now it says, choose your privacy settings for the device. Do you wanna use location, find my, diagnostic data? I don't want that. Inking and typing, tailored experience, advertising ID. And I'll turn that off as well. We'll click accept. And then it says, coming soon, quickly find things you've seen with recall. This has actually been delayed, so it's something that's coming a little bit later. Maybe they'll change some of the way it handles privacy, but let's go ahead and click next. Now it says, welcome back, and it has my last backup from my actual gaming PC. We'll go ahead and restore from this PC, or we can just sort of continue on. So I don't know if I want everything here, but let's go ahead and click restore. It says folders, apps, settings, and credentials, and we'll give it a minute to do this. Now it's asking me to customize the experience. It says, what do you want to do? Development, I'll do entertainment, gaming, maybe school and creativity, and maybe some business as well. So we can set it up that way, click accept. You can select whatever you want, of course. And it says, use your phone from your PC. I'll skip that for now. Then it's asking me to keep my photos safe with OneDrive. We'll go ahead and click next and then always have access to your recent browsing data. We'll click accept, you don't have to accept that, and we'll continue. And then if we want maybe a free trial of Microsoft 365, I don't, I don't use it at all. And then we could get more cloud storage, we'll click continue. Now it says finishing up, and there we go, we're on the PC, looks like we're ready to go, and it looks like your typical Windows PC. Now everything looks pretty much the same, if I press the Copilot button, it opens up Copilot, and then we can use this here. So we'll click what can we do together today, and that's one of the big changes with this, where we're getting more integration with Copilot Plus, and we could use it for whatever. So. Tell me about the new Surface laptop. Let's see if it got that. And there we go. It says Copilot Plus PC Surface Laptop 7th edition and gives all the information. Now, one of the things I didn't mention before is this has a 54 watt hour battery, up to 20 hours of video playback, 13 hours of active web usage. It also has Wi-Fi 7 and Bluetooth 5.4. So pretty great as far as all the latest technology. And then of course we have the forward facing camera which has been upgraded. And then additionally, let's see how this does with maybe some synthetic benchmarks and a couple other things. But first let's check PWM. If the display flickers or not, it shouldn't, but let's go ahead and check it. Now, as you can see at 240 frames per second, it's not flickering. It shouldn't bother your eyes if you're sensitive to PWM and the display looks pretty great. Of course, you have an OLED option on the Surface Pro, the new one. And if you want just LCD, of course you have this, but it looks pretty great. The display is nice and fast. And of course we have all of our typical options here. As far as games and everything else, well, let's go ahead and see if we can run a few benchmarks. Now I ran Geekbench 6 just to see how this would compare to the new MacBook Air M3 since Microsoft actually kept referencing how they were faster. So in my initial CPU test, we have 2,202 for single core. The MacBook Air scored 2,993. However, with multi-core, the surface is faster at 13,055 compared to 11,254. Now let's go ahead and run X Defiant and see what kind of frame rates we get as this is not a native app. I tried to load X Defiant a few different times, it wouldn't work. Let's see if we can load the original City Skylines and see if that's any better. Now it actually loaded City Skylines, no problem. It did take a moment, of course, to get everything set up. It defaulted to 1600 by 900, and it does have certain things on high, such as texture quality, level of detail, and it seems to run pretty smoothly. As I zoom in here, it's a little bit choppy to start, 
but nothing that's unusable after you give it a moment. And you can see here as we move it around, it spins around just fine, completely playable. Of course, we can spin down here and take a closer look. So I'm pretty impressed that it can run this. I know that it, this is actually the older version, but it's running it without any issues. Let's go ahead and hit play here and you'll see that it seems to work just fine. It's completely playable, looks good and definitely impressive. The fans did spin up and it is getting a little bit warm here, but I'm impressed that I can play this since it's not native as far as arm goes. So you'll see the traffic going through here and everything seems to be really working as you would expect. So you can play certain games on here. Again, X Defiant didn't work for me, but in general, it seems like it's working just fine. If we quick to the desktop, we'll give it just a moment here. And it is getting quite warm, but let's take a look at maybe the keyboard. And if there's any apps or things you want me to test with this later on, let me know in the comments below. But you'll see it's taking a moment to quit. If we switch out here. Now take a listen to the fans since they are spun up. They're very quiet, but take a listen. So you can hear them. Let's go ahead and take a listen to the speakers now. So here I have some royalty free music loaded up. Let's go ahead and see what the speakers sound like. The speakers sound okay, a little bit tinny on the high end. At the highest volumes, they do distort a little bit. The bass is pretty weak, but they're definitely usable. However, I would definitely recommend maybe some headphones since we have a headphone jack or maybe wireless headphones. As far as the keyboard goes, well, let's go into OneNote here and see what it's like to type on. I would imagine it's similar to any of the others. We'll tap Not Now and start a new one here. New create a notebook. I haven't used this in a while. There we go. Not now. And this is a new note. And again, let's take a closer listen to the keyboard. They have good feedback, just like you would always expect. And we do have a backlit keyboard as well. So if you're in a dark environment, you should be able to use that without any issue. So let's see if we can see that. So you'll see we have three different levels with the lights off here. So we do have a backlit keyboard. And as far as the camera that's built in, well, let's take a look at that. So if we go to camera here, we'll load that, give it just a moment. We'll tilt down here and we're in the video camera. We have some effects in the upper right. So if we go up here, you'll see over here, we have automatic framing, eye contact, standard blur and portrait blur. So you can change that to whatever you want and let's see what it actually looks and sounds like. Here's the front camera of the new Surface laptop, and this gives you an idea of what it looks like, what it sounds like, and as I move around, it will follow me depending on how far I am out of frame. And let me know what you think it sounds like as far as compared to the studio mic in the comments below. So that's the camera and what it looks like. It should be great for meetings, no issues there. And of course, we have things such as live captions built in that the processor will handle when you're on YouTube and things like that. So far, I think it's going to be a nice laptop. It's not a gaming laptop, but I think it'll be great for regular use. Of course, it is a touch screen and it's always nice to have that. If there's anything else you want to know specifically about this, maybe further benchmarks, maybe how it handles different tasks, I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. I typically don't use a whole lot of AI, but we do have it built in if we want to use it, maybe get some ideas, maybe change a photo or something like that. Let me know anything specifically you'd like to know about this. If you haven't subscribed already though, please subscribe. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.